Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan, and we're building a cabin kit home. Here's everything to build a house. Yeah. From wood to nails. We're starting an exciting part in our cabin build. It's log stacking time. <laughs> a new project means new excitement and energy. This house is going to be built in like a week. But it also means a new learning curve. We'll probably obsess over that a little bit too long. Follow along as we start setting the logs for our cabin. Hope everything's square. <laughs> And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. All right, we got done with our subfloor in the last episode, and today we are starting the flashing that has to go around the edge of the house. Yeah, real quick, just five mm -hmm. sheets to protect the area where there's not the deck, and then we'll start laying down the first course of the starter logs, and we'll probably obsess over that a little bit too long to make sure they're square, mm -hmm. so we have a nice solid foundation to start to stacking. Go vertical. That's the plan. So hopefully, in this episode, you guys actually get to see us maybe get a few feet of the wall going. I'm hoping by the end of this episode, we'll have all the walls built. No, just kidding. <laughs> I was like, what? Now I'm hoping that if we can get the starters done and, and squared and squared and like a couple logs on top of that. Yeah. We'll and we'll be, show you, we'll oh, be happy. And we'll show you how the diagram is written. It's really kind of cool with the cabin kit home because they kind of say, go find this log. Now put it here. Now put it there, which takes kind of a little bit of the guesswork out of it that would yeah. come along with the regular framing of a house. Well, they even, they even show in the individual bundles where to find mm -hmm. each log. So yeah. that's really cool. So hopefully we're going to find out if the starter logs are on the top <laughs> or on the bottom of the bundle. So we'll take you guys along for the ride. If I cut right there. Mm -hmm. I think maybe snip the other side just a little bit. that. It's kind of like I knew what I was doing right there. <laughs> you can move it over a little bit that way. Oh, not that much. Come back. There you go. We're only going to need the A's to start out. They're the starter lock. right here, starter. Okay, so it's gonna go back to this corner, huh? First log is out, Ryan. Okay, and this is bundle two. Which is on the top of that one, but then bundle three is on the bottom. Mm -hmm. When you get a, a log cabin kit home from Conestoga, it comes to you in all of these crates that you guys have been watching us unload. Um, they specifically say, do not stack any of the crates. And we unstacked most of them to fit onto our property. 
but when we started looking at this one, which is our log wall, we couldn't get the grate all back here. So we just discovered that we're gonna have to unstack this whole package basically of logs and move it onto our house and then so we can get to the other one too because each package is a wall. And as we're building, we're gonna build all four walls. So um, error on our part, but tonight we're just gonna get out the starter logs from this package and call it a night because we are tired. We actually laid our subfloor. We finished laying our subfloor today and then started this project. So we're ready to be done, but we're also super excited to start this. So. <laughs> Starting to stack logs. out both of our long walls and we're gonna call it a night and we're excited because now we know what we're doing tomorrow when we get out here and we start unstacking these logs and yeah you start start building walls yeah and I think tomorrow it'll actually start we'll be like oh my gosh it's coming together and probably the hardest is gonna be getting the starter logs figured out because then once that's done we're just yeah once just they're stacking. square mm -hmm. it'll be so simple this house can be built in like a week all we'll right. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's Emily here and we have been trying to organize all the logs for the different log walls and the build and been moving stuff all around. So let me show you around. We've had a little bit of a day today. My friend Emily took a little bit of footage of us getting the logs out. And as we said last night, we had to move a whole package of logs off of another package of logs. So we got that done first thing this morning and then got our starter logs out is what they're called. And I'll kind of show you those. Um, got our starter logs out that will be the perimeter of our house. And right now we need to square them up. So we had a little bit of a delay because we've decided we'd like to add flashing all the way around our house and um, that was not part of our cabin kit. The cabin kit provided the flashing that went around the back of the house that we got done, but was underneath the deck was not there. And since we live in a really rainy climate, we knew we wanted that extra protection. So we ran and got that stuff. Now we're finally back. We're gonna square up our logs and then put on that flashing. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be creating walls yet today, but we will get there. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're at like 46 and one in. Okay. 46 and a half in. Okay. So what do we have to do to fix it? <laughs> you can't just go on that direction because it could be over here that's that's throwing it off. Okay. That's why like when you measure square, that's the longer side. So it's actually like this this would need to come in, which means this would push this this way which means that would have to go that way. Okay. okay. I'll hold it, how about that? Okay, right at the edge of the doorway? Yeah. And it's right at 75, so. Okay, so that's correct, what we think. Okay, and that's at 41 and a half. Okay, so both doors are correct. Both think. doors are correct. Okay. Other one? Yep. 
It's 46 and three quarters. Shut up. Oh my God, I hope it's right. Okay. 38 and five inches. 38 and five inches, okay. Woo. Five and a quarter. It's not that bad. It's not as bad though now. Okay. Okay, try it again. Okay, we're super close. We are like off by a quarter inch on the length of the house. So we're trying to figure out where it's wrong because both doorways line up correctly in measurement and we were square. So we're gonna do a little bit of fiddling before we call it final. Five and an eighth. Okay, five and an eighth. Okay, I think that's five and an eighth. <gasps> okay, yeah, let's try the square. Six and three quarters, okay. You get three quarters. <gasps> we did it! 75. 75. Now we're looking for 41 and a half. All right, I'll meet you over there. Big money. Very close. But it's like a 16th off. Is it close enough? 16th, we can just kind of shave the door off or use a shim. I think we got it. Ooh, that was a good one. Did you get it? Oh yeah, that. Oh man, record winning. Oh man, you're doing it. I mean, it's a very generous bead, like you're saying. Like, it's like I'm cake decorating. Okay. You've seen, I like a lot of frosting. <laughs> is that, yeah, that's, that's the stuff? That's the stuff. All right, hold that. Hold that tall. Sarah, where'd you go? Okay, are we done for tonight? No, I needed, I had, I needed your help. Oh. We are back at it today. We took a little day off from the build yesterday. But last you saw us, we were squaring up the logs that will be the first logs of our log wall. And before we called it quits on that evening, we also took some time to get our flashing completely installed around the back of the house. We totally wore out though, and we didn't finish this very last part. So we're gonna finish that up today. And then we're gonna put some flashing on at the front of our house where our deck will actually be. It is not in the plans, but we decided that living in the Pacific Northwest and in a super rainy climate, we want that extra protection to our subfloor. So that's today's plan. And we're really hoping that we can get that flashing up and get our first round of the log wall completely secured today. I wanted to explain our process here. So the first thing we had to do was just lay out all of these starter logs. The starter logs are actually a little bit different. They're flat on one side. They are the ones that run lengthways and then they interlock with these ones that we've put in the front. 
some of these front ones that you're seeing are not the actual logs that are go there that will go there they're just helping us space these out correctly we squared it all up two nights ago and now we have to take off all of the logs because then you put a bead of caulking down underneath them and then nail them in it's a little nerve-wracking because it took so long to square so we want to make sure it's right so ryan's going around and marking all of the logs with a pencil and then we're going to take them off and then we've got to put on our flashing and then we'll come back get our logs reset then put caulking on then reset them for the final time and screw them in Look up. Yep. We've been waiting for so long. We've been waiting for this time to begin. We ain't getting any older. Kind of feel a little younger. Run away and embrace the day. The sun is out, won't go away. happens every time. <laughs> hey Ryan. Yeah. What time is it? It's log stacking time. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We got the flashing done. It's time to put the first round of logs on. Yeah. Do you think you're ready? I'm ready. You think you know what you're doing? Yes. Okay, good. We watched the video. Just had a little lunch. We got all the flashing down. So now we're going to apply a bead of caulk to the underside of the log, the starter logs, get those in place where we traced them in, and then we're going to put in our first course of uh, full logs. Okay. All right. I'm excited. I'm hot, but I'm excited. And then we're going vertical. Woo! Okay, so we'll remove it and then you'll caulk it. Mm -hmm. okay, a generous and continuous bead of caulk. Alright, first one down. That's stressful. We've been waiting for so long. We've been waiting for this time to begin. We ain't getting any older. I gotta feel a little younger. Going up, going up, going Ready? all the way. Going high, 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 high. Going up, going up, going all the way. Going high, 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 high. I don't know, but we need it to. All right, we have two starter logs down. Uh, we kind of found out that the, the flashing that we put on, um, we had to bend that flashing and it was making the starter logs bulge up, which will not be good. So we're going along and putting more nails into it so it's laying a lot more flat and then we shouldn't have that problem anymore. You ready to do this? We already, we've already been doing it. I know, but we had a momentary pause where we got to hammer down flashing. Oh. Nail down flashing. I'm ready to keep doing this. Let's keep doing it. Yeah, that one. Did I snip the tip off of it already <laughs> so it was ready? Yeah, that one. open this pallet to move off because we need access to those of these logs. It's pretty crazy that they are. They're like, here's everything to build a house. 
<laughs> From wood to nails. just checked the square of our starter logs and they are square. Ryan is checking a few other things just to make sure we're really where we want to be before we put in the first nails. You're almost there. First one. First nail. Hope everything's square. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call it a night. We got our starter logs up at the front. You can't even see. At the front and the side of our house and at the back and the side of our house. So we do still have, you got some Cheetos on your face. Uh oh, uh, no. S snack time. Nope, other side. There you go. <laughs> So we got it squared. We got the starter log set. We are gonna open one of our crates because we need some certain screws for tomorrow or giant nails, pole barn nails that we need for tomorrow. But other than that, we're, we're calling it a night. We're gonna wake up nice and early tomorrow so we can get an awesome start on this. And tomorrow you will really see logs getting to be stacked and looking like walls. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.